Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. This is a guide for round 7 of the 2022 Nations Cup Stage 2 taking place at Suzuka Circuit with the Nissan GTR GT500 and the Toyota Super GT500. So this is a 14 lap race where fuel is a times 2, tire wear times 3. We're only on the racing medium tires. There are no tire requirements, no mandatory pit stops. And this is a rolling start. BOP is on and tuning is disabled. Now let's go ahead and get started with the lap guys. So this is going to be especially important when you're about to start your qualifying laps. Bring yourself towards the left so you can have a bit more space to build up a bit more speed and you'll get a slightly faster start to your new lap. But anyway, stay on the left side of the track break just before you reach the path that is on the left. You're going to do lots of trail braking, braking control as you make your way through the first two turns. Just trying to make sure that you don't understeer off of the track as you're slowing down. Go down to third gear instead of second. I accidentally went down to second and just carefully get on the throttle. Then for the S's, you will need to do a little bit of braking to slow yourself down to make sure you don't understeer off of the track and then do a lot of throttle control, a little bit of braking control through here. I shift up to fourth gear pretty early on so I don't have to do it mid turn and then just try to be really careful with your throttle input. Stay on the left side of the track, brake before the 50 meter board. So brake hard for a short moment and carefully ease off of the brakes as it's turning in. Don't hit too much of the curbs. Brake before the curb on the left ends. Brake hard for a short while. You can go down to second gear for rotation, but exit on third gear and carefully get on the throttle. It's really easy to spin out over there. Then brake just as the curb on the right is about to end. You can go down to first gear for more rotation but exit on second gear and be really careful getting on the throttle. It's also really easy to spin out right here. Then stay on the right side of the track. You're going to brake before you reach the path that is on the right. So you're going to brake right around here. Brake before the path. Brake hard for a short while. Slowly ease off of the brakes as you're turning in. Going down to third gear then brake before the curb on the right ends. You can stay on third gear through this turn or go up to fourth gear and just carefully get on the throttle. At least for me, getting out of fourth gear is a little easier for me as there's less chance of getting wheel spin coming out of that turn. But anyways, bring us up towards the right, turn in at the 50 meter board and lift off of the throttle. Try to maintain as much momentum as possible and then brake just after you pass the 150 meter board. So braking in a straight line for a very long time. Going down to second gear to have the car rotate around a little bit more. Some do go down to first gear, but I do second gear. And then go up to third gear as you're exiting the turn for a bit more control coming out of the turn and bring yourself all the way to the right side of the track. But that's all for the lap guy. Let's go ahead and get started with the race strategies. All right, so when it comes to the race strategies, this one is mostly straightforward because this is going to be a zero stop race, although it's not going to be an easy zero stop race. What I mean is that depending on the car that you're using and your driving style, you will most likely need to do a little bit of tire saving to make sure that you don't get a tire puncture towards the end of the race. This is especially the case in the Nissan GT-R GT500 as this car is a little bit heavier and the front tires were out a little bit faster than the Toyota Supra GT500. So in order to make the zero stop work, and this is especially the case for the GT-R GT500, you will need to be a little easier on the brake, so braking just a little bit earlier so you're not at full braking power for too long. Be really gentle with your turn in and not have too much steering lock. And just be careful with your throttle input on your way out of the turns. And especially in the race, you want to try to avoid the dirty air. So if you're behind someone, 
that dirty air is going to make you understeer more, which is going to accelerate your tire wear. So you want to try to avoid that as much as you can. Ideally, you want to qualify towards the very front. So I'm talking qualify pole position to try to avoid any sort of dirty air. And the dirty air is a little noticeable, so it's going to make it a bit harder to try to get a pass done. And you want to be careful with trying to pass people or battle with anyone as that means that you're going to be shredding your tires. You can see on the bottom left hand corner of the screen towards the end of the race that my front tires are basically on death's door. So I had to drive really carefully in my last lap to try to make sure I don't get the tire puncture. And for both the Supra and the GTR GT500, the front tires wear out faster. If your front tires get the puncture, you're going to get a ton of understeer to where the car becomes incredibly hard to turn. So you will need to be really careful treating those front tires with lots of care and hopefully you don't get the tire puncture. The only time where it is okay to pit for new tires is if you're not done with the race and you're about to get the tire puncture, then might as well just uh, cut your losses and go for the new tires. It's not going to be the winning strategy, but at least you won't have the tire puncture as the pit loss is way too long here at Suzuka, I think it's over 20 seconds. And in terms of go-to cars, both cars are pretty close, so the thing is that with the Nissan GTR GT500, at least for me, it was a little faster over a lap and throughout the entire race. So on this run, I did a 27.59 run, but you do have to be aware that the front tires are a bit worse in the GTR GT500. So if you're, if you're going to pick this car, please be careful with the tire wear. Now with the Toyota Super GT500, this car was a little slower for me, so in this run, I did a 28 minute, one second run. So it was about two seconds slower than the Nissan GTR GT500's run, but this car felt a little better for me to drive. So yeah, it's a little bit slower, but it's better to drive, at least for me, and the tire wear is not as bad compared to the GTR's tire wear. So in this run, I didn't have to tire save as much. I was able to drive a little more aggressively to try and see how well I can do in this run. So overall, these two cars are actually pretty close and they have clear disadvantages and clear advantages. So with the GTR, it's a little bit faster overall, but you do have more tire wear to worry about. Whereas with the Supra, it's a little bit slower but it's a little nicer to drive and you don't have to deal with as much tire wear compared to the GTR GT500. Uh, I will still be careful with the tire wear though. Don't drive way too carelessly because tire punctures can still be a thing with the Super GT500. But going towards the end of the race, so there is quite a bit of tire wear, but unlike the GTR GT500, this car still has a bit of tire life left, so if I wanted to push a bit more, I could, but once again, I don't want to get too careless. And as I mentioned earlier, at the end of this run, I did a 2801, so two seconds slower than the GTR's run, and my fastest lap was a 159.7, so it was one tenth of a second slower than the GTR's fastest lap of a 159.6. So at the end of the day, both cars are pretty close, but they have their advantages and disadvantages. And this is a zero stop race where you have to do some tire saving to make the tires last the entire race. And the one stop for a tire change, it's going to take way too long to even be viable. But that is it for this guide. Hopefully this guide helps you out. And if you like this video, you can press the like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I do have a membership program thing that you can check out down below if you want to further support this channel. It really helps me out. It really helps the channel out. And we just hit our 10th member. So shout out to the channel members. Thanks for supporting the channel. But that's all from me. This is Mr. MCA. Good luck in your race. And I'll see you in the next video.